Good afternoon once again to all our learners, our parents, our teachers, and everybody who are watching us for English 7. So good afternoon and hi, and I hope that everybody is safe. So today we're going to have a very special afternoon because we're going to have some very special guests. So let us have our screen shared now. So let me have it. Okay, so again, I am Tutor Drace, and with me, of course, in spirit is Tutor Arnel, who is very busy now, so he won't be coming with us, but of course, he'll be watching us. So we are both from SDO Pasig, and we're both here as your guides for English 7, that is every Tuesday from 1.40 to 2.20 p.m. So now we are on our quarter two, week five. Now this will be our last session for this year and of course we're going to have our christmas break and i know you're very much excited for that and today we're going to discuss summarizing a text and of course we're going to say thank you very very big for our module reference and that would be pivot learners material from depth ed calabarson again we are very grateful for your very big help to all our learners so our objectives for this afternoon before we proceed of course let me just greet some early birds that we have for this uh, viewing session so let me greet samantha blasi from liano high school Kaloocan City. We also have Marjan Manalansan from Baruya High School. That's from SDO Pampanga. And Riven Chudoro from uh, uh, Luis Fe Gomez Jamantina National High School. So we still have some more guests okay, for our very special afternoon today. So at the end of the session, you will be able to do the following things. First, of course, is the, our objective for our mind, for our knowledge. Then we have our objective for the heart. And, of course, we also have our objective for skills. So let's talk about the knowledge first. You will be able to identify the guidelines in summarizing a text. And then for the heart, you're going to realize the value of respecting the original ideas of the author. And for the skills, of course, you're going to know how to summarize a text. So let us now have our trivia. So we are going to feed rep Act 8296. That will be an act declaring every second Sunday of December as the National Children's Broadcasting Day. So that would be our special feature for this afternoon. And... Since we are going to have the National Children's Broadcasting Day every second Sunday of December, this will be a very special session for that we have for you because we have featured shooties for week five and they are here with us. Of course, we are going to thank first our parents, their parents, I mean, for granting us the permission to let them be seen live on Facebook and on YouTube and all the channels of DepEd, of course. So we have Kuya Janiel Von A. Morales and Ate Reese Lorraine B. Hebe. Let's give them a virtual round of applause. Hi, guys. Ayan, sige, Everyone. you can do now. Hello, ayan. Kinakabahan tong ating mga mini-me tutors. But Anna. I know they're Hello. very, very, yes. So, let us now, let them, okay? Let them greet first. Sige, mini-me tutor, Janiel, you may now start with your greetings. Um, Hello, everyone. My name is Janiel Von A. Morales, but you can call me Kuya Von, a grade 10 student from Mangahan High School, an SSD secretary, and an, ed an editorial chief in my in our newspaper, and your mini-me tutor for today. Okay, that's good. Let's now have Ate Reese. And Ate Reese, can you hear us? I think there's something wrong with uh, Ate Reese's uh, uh, internet Hello connection. Hello there, everyone. Okay. I am Ate Reese. Your mini, your mini me. Yes. Hello. Okay. A nice afternoon. Hello. 
and yan your I'm your mini me tutor today for today. And we are the students from Mangan High School. So once again, hello to the students of Mangan High School and to the other schools who have joined us for today. Okay, thank you. Alam nyo, Reese and Janiel, there are really a lot of viewers you who, who are very, very busy waiting for you. So, can you please give a shout out now to all your friends, your classmates, or your teachers who will start with a shout Me. out? Okay, I'll Janiel. Start okay, please um, go. Shout out to my fellow um, student from Mangahan High School. Um, as I can see, there are many of you from Mangahan and also to my friends. Um, hello there, Sadairi Sadik, um, Jan Kevin Dapiawen, and many more. There's too many. I cannot count them anymore, ma'am. Yes. How about you, Atiris? Ayan, nawala si Atiris. Okay, sige, let us continue. So, hello there again. Shout out, shout out to my my classmates. Okay, I think there's something wrong with uh Tutor Reese um microphone. Okay, sige, Tutor Reese, can you now say your shout out? Ayan, mukhang nawawala siya. Okay. So, let us have our activating prior null, uh, prior learning. Oh, sige, sige. Naglolo ko yata yung microphone Am mo. I heard? Ayan, sige po. Ayan, nawawala. Sige, sige. I'm Sige, let po. us I'm have... Now. Ayan, nawawala ka, Riz. Sige, sige. We will be giving some time for Ate Riz to do a little um, magic with her microphone so she can do her shout-out later. So as for our lesson, let's do some review first. So let us start with activating prior knowledge or prior learning. I know uh, our mini me tutors can handle this. Sige nga, pakita nyo nga ang galing nyo, mini me tutors. Please do the honor of doing our activating prior learning. Sige, please start. Thank you, ma'am. So I'm glad to meet you guys. Um, let us first recall our past lesson. I know that you are excited to learn and have fun. So what are we waiting for? Let us learn. So, so we already know that there are various ways and means to obtain needed information, including it can be through the use of print-based materials like newspaper and magazine, non-electronic, or the distribution of message or information, usually in the form of letters or verbally. And we also have um, the electronic sources like website and online database book. So we use those things to gather information and to learn from them as well. So let us learn more about those types um, through arteries. Take it away, partner. Hmm, it looks like arteries is having trouble. So there are many types of sources. We have primary, secondary, and tertiary so they vary pra, um, from each other for so primary we can get that from an interview secondary we can have those things on hmm. who can give me um, an example um, can you type down your answer from our comment section okay hmm. let's try that okay can you please uh, comment an example of a secondary source let us now have our viewers do the answering. Oh, please type down an answer for a secondary source if you still remember what we had learned last meeting. Ayan. Okay, so let wow. us check. It looks like they still um, know our past lesson. <laughs> yes. Uh, Mark Platon, your answer is interview that is part of primary source. Yep. Okay, so. But still, good job. 
Yes. You know, Mark Platon has been my, uh, has been our avid viewer okay, since day one. Okay, oh. Now we now have answers here. Oh, it looks like Mark Platon again for books, uh, for secondary, and for the net gan for journals. Um, for tertiary, we also have uh, tertiary as a type of source. Um, this source includes um, it includes I think thesis. Yes, and we also have dictionaries, encyclopedias. Yes. yes, that would be for tertiary. So now that you have the review, maybe our viewers are already prepared for a short quiz. So can you now do this, Janiel? Yes, so our di direction is we need to identify if the following sources are primary, secondary, or tertiary. Uh, so we're just going to answer if it is primary, secondary, or tertiary. And please don't forget to put the number before your answer. Can Let's we now see. start? Yes, ma'am. For number one, we have dictionary. What do you think it's the, what is the type of sources of a of a dictionary? Oh, so we already have answers from hmm, Janet Plad Platayon. So we have tertiary for dictionary and Blana Eve for dictionary as well. I oh for hmm. Let's wait for the answer. I think they they are still typing. So you, we have an answer from Trisha Cartagen, Cartagena, which is tertiary. Nino as well, tertiary. Eds Barreto, tertiary. Oh, it looks like they already know the answer. Let's see if tertiary is the correct answer, ma'am. Okay, what is the correct answer? Wow, good job, guys. It's a tertiary source. Okay, let's now have number two. For number two, we have interview with a witness. Hmm, what type of source is this one? Okay. Comment down your answers. Okay, so while we are waiting for the answers, let me just greet all our viewers here. We have Kirsten Mingoy, Chelsea, Mam Ma Eleanor De Roja, Mam Ma Cecil. Mom Cecil Marcelo is also here. So these are the head teachers of Mangahan High School. Thank you very much for staying with us. And we also have teachers here from Mangahan High School who are always watching. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, teachers. Do we now have an answer, Janiel? Yes, ma'am. Um, Argel answered primary. Um, Hannah answered primary as well. And I think all of them, all of their answer is primary, ma'am. Let us check if that's correct. That's right. It's an example of a primary source. Okay, let's move on to the next one. So for number three, we have news article about a hero. Again, comment down your answer if it is primary, secondary, or tertiary sources. Okay, so let's wait until they are done answering. Okay, so we have uh, some viewers here from Bagnos Integrated School, Elron Man, that's in Isabella. So we're being watched actually from Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. Okay, so thank you very much. Country. Yes, actually, there are also some um, uh, viewers from other countries. Wow. So thank you very much. Hello, everyone. We have uh, SDO Pampanga here, and I think. Mom Janet Flood Patayan is from the US and she's wow. always watching us. Thank you, ma'am. Oh, it looks like we already have answer for number three. So Samantha answered secondary. Mark Platon answered secondary as well. And RC also answered secondary. It looks like a lot of them answered secondary, ma'am. So let us check if that's a correct answer. Yep. That is a secondary source. Okay, let's proceed with the next. Um, so for number four, we have thesis about an invention. Hmm, I think I mentioned thesis earlier. Hmm. Yes, that was part of your review. Can you guys still remember that? 
Okay, let's wait for their answers. Now, they are still typing in their answers and they are still typing number three. And, of course, they got it correctly because they answered secondary source. So, now we have uh, an answer for number four. Um, from Mark Platon, we have tertiary. From Janet, we have secondary. And for John Kevin Dapiawen, we have tertiary. So, it okay. looks like um, it is... Uh, tertiary that is being mentioned in our comment section. Let us check if it is correct. Okay, that is a secondary source. Okay, so now let's have number five. Number five. For, for number five, we have biography of a chemist. So, okay. what type of source is this one? Comment down your answers. Reese, is your microphone already okay? Reese, can you hear us? I think he... Hello, ma'am. Can you hear Yes, yes. yes. Uh, okay. Yes, ma'am. I can hear you. Okay, thank you. Reese, oh. do we now have answers for number five? Hello? Reese, do we now have answers for number five? Ayan, ayaw makisama, lumalaban. Ang um, they're still ni answering Reese. for number four. <laughs> okay. Ayan, we now have okay. answers here. Now, there's four Talagang ayaw makisama ng internet. Sige. Uh, Janiel, can you fill in for... Uh, yes, ma'am. So, Mary Rose answer secondary sources and others answer tertiary. Let us check if it's the, that is the correct answer. Yup, that is an example of tertiary sources. It okay. looks like all of you know, already know, or still know our past lesson. Yes, that's a good thing. Now, let us check. If they really know, let us know their scores. How was your performance? What do you think will they be commenting if they got a five or a perfect score? I think it will be a heart, ma'am. Okay, let us check. Okay, very good. So let us comment with a heart if you got a five on our first activity. Again, please comment a heart if you got a five for our first activity. And that would be our review. So let us check if they already have the hearts in our comment section. Samantha Blasi got a heart. Congratulations, wow. Samantha. Jeric also. We also have Janet and um, RC and Renz and Krisha. Lawrence got a four, but it's okay. At least you got only one mistake. Okay. So, Julia, we have William, we have Angela, Eifer, Mary Rose, Edward, and the rest of the guys who have a heart for their comments. That means you got a perfect score. So, very good job, everyone. Congratulations. Congratulations, everyone. Bertolt clap. Bert yes. clap to all of you guys. Okay, thank you for that. Now, let us continue with presenting the lesson. Sige, papahinga muna natin si Tutor Janiel. So, let us now begin uh, by, of course, knowing that summarizing seems to be an easy task for many, ba? But a lot of people still find it a tough task to pull off. So, this is because summarizing as a skill requires full comprehension of an original material as well as an application of essential skills in reading and writing. Now, may I ask our mini-me tutors, have you experienced summarizing a text? Yes, ma'am. Actually, we are we summarize um, our lessons every day. Po. We, I have notes, ma'am, for every lesson yes. that we have studied. Hey. That's a very good thing to do because, you know, summarizing really is very difficult. But, of course, if you have tactics or strategies to deal with it, everything becomes easier. Now, this lesson will now focus on how to summarize a text, how it differs to related concepts like, of course, we know uh, paraphrasing and how to properly write it through a set of guideposts to be followed. 
So, this is now what we are going to do. First, we define the word summary. So, summary is a brief statement that presents the most important points of an original material. So, that is very good that Genial is writing down notes. Okay? Next, the summary will also help you retell a story or any material using a few statements and Usually, this must be short and easy to comprehend. So, another thing that we have to take note of is that a good summary focuses on the big picture and does not pay so much attention to minor details. So, its main goal is just to present the essential or the most important ideas in a written piece. Okay, And, of course... It is very vital to know that while summarizing and paraphrasing are two closely related concepts, they are actually two different techniques in writing. Now, let us discuss summarizing and paraphrasing so you will know the difference between the two. Let us start with summarizing. So, summarizing is putting up the main ideas of a certain work into your own words. So, you're not going to copy and paste. You're going to make use of your own words. So, that includes only the big pictures or the main ideas. Now, what about paraphrasing? Paraphrasing, on the other hand, is restating someone else's work or idea in your own words at roughly the same level of details okay now it is very important to take note that you will not change the idea of the author this is a sign of our respect to the author's ideas and to the author himself okay so remember that respect is something that we really really value so don't ever forget that we don't include our opinions because the ideas of the author must be respected and must remain in summarizing and in paraphrasing so both are techniques used to incorporate sources or other writers' ideas when writing materials like an essay or a research paper. So when summarizing, it is also important that one knows how to recognize the main ideas, the key information, and the supporting details in a given text. So let us discuss main idea. What is a main idea? So this is the central point that the author is trying to communicate in his or her work. Now, what about key information? Key information refers to important pieces of evidence that would include the reasons, the examples, the explanations, and this would always support the main idea. Now, this would also include details that would further establish one's main point. Okay? And another thing, Always remember that since a summary is a shortened version which presents the gist of a specific material, we have to consider these important guidelines when writing a summary. First, remember that the summary should be based on the original piece. Okay, like what I rem like what I've mentioned and what I've taught you a while ago, you have to respect the idea of the author. Next, it should be kept short and simple that's why it's called a summary another you use your own words do not copy and paste another you know the main ideas or the key information in what you are summarizing you have to keep the objectivity do not include your opinion okay next we will also be making use of a comprehensive summary don't forget that the summary must be comprehensive, it must be complete, it must be simple, and it must be easily understood by your readers. A summary must be concise also. And, of course, coherence is a key feature of a good summary. All these important points are very vital in doing your summary. So, don't ever forget them. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, we have 8 points to consider that must always be remembered in doing the summary. If you will be able to uh, remember all these 8 
summarizing or paraphrasing will never be a difficult task for you. So always remember them. So now let us test one's knowledge. Let us check whether you really understood our short but um, full pack lesson this afternoon let us now have our guests again uh where are our mini me tutors so let us have them because they'll be handling they'll be asking you the questions also so let us have tutor janiel mini me tutor janiel and mini me tutor reese i hope tutor reese uh, microphone is already okay okay let us check whether they are already here while we are waiting for them uh, let us just greet some uh, people here who are still with us and watching every every detail of our lesson this afternoon so we have angel Bo from grade 8 temperance we have jenaline historico from grade 10 aphrodite we also have joralyn limpangog from 12 abm from lnhs we also have antonieto paira watching from mamatid kabuyao and we also have um, Benji Garan from Luis Fe Gomez Jamantina National High School. And we also have some more students here from Mangahan High School. And thank you very, very much for being with us this afternoon. We also have Elia Alia Milo from uh, Ramon National High School. Thank you very much for being with us. So while we are waiting for our mini me tutors, for them to be in to our live session, ayan. We now have Janiel. So, Janiel, I'll be asking you some questions here. Let us check if you also learned this afternoon. Okay, po, man. Yeah. So, our direction is to identify which ones are true about summarizing. So, all you need to just say is, is, is this a yes or a no? So, that's very, very easy. So, I know Kuya Janiel can handle this very well. So, number one, a summary should have the same length as the original text. Now, please have your answer typed in our comment section. Don't forget to write number one one okay so while we are waiting jane kuya jane let's wait for them to answer huh? so while we are waiting let's give a special shout out a request here from mommy janet so shout out now to aksha patayon of marikina kalumpang national high school hi aksha your mom is always watching for you so we now have answers here but before we proceed let me ask kuya jane first kuya jane what is your answer for number one um, my answer, ma'am, is no po, ma'am. No. And let's check. Oh, there are still a lot of people answering and they are saying it's also a no. So do you think you got the correct answer? Let us check. Okay, the answer wow. is a no. Congratulations, Janiel. And Thank congratulations you, to those people who got a no. Good job, Next. guys. Okay, Janiel, can you please read number two? For number two? A summary is just another term for paraphrase. Okay, now let's wait for their answer. So, um, Ezel is also shouting or oh, asking for a shout out for 10 Kratos. Oh, hi, 10 Kratos. Hello, Thank you for Kratos. watching. Okay, now what is your answer here for number two, Janiel? Um, my answer, Pumam, is no, Pumam. No. So it's the same with the answers of the people we have here. But there are also some people who are saying it's a yes. So let us check. Okay. Oh. Congratulations. It's a no. Okay. Summary is not a paraphrase. They are different. Next, let's have number three. Coherence must be maintained in writing a summary. What is the answer for number three? Uh, Kuya Janiel, what's your answer for number three? My answer po, ma'am, is yes po. Yes. Let us check. Okay. The answers are not yet. Uh, they're not yet done with number two. <laughs> so let's wait. Ayan. Althea Bagood is also a yes. And Danet is also a yes. 
John Michael Janko is also a yes. And same with Rich Armeline. Okay, let us check. Is it really a yes? Very good. It's a yes. Okay, next, let's have number four. Kuya Janiel, please read. Um, for number four, a good summary includes the writer's opinion about the topic. Do you think that's a yes or a no? Um, I think, ma'am, that's a no. Is it a no? Let us check. Should we not include our opinion about the topic? Oh, let us check if that is a yes. Sir, ah, we have John Michael Janko with a no. Okay, and so with Rich Armeline, also a no. Okay, with Rhea, also a no. Let us check the answer. Very good. That's wow. a no. Next, let's have number five. So a summary must include all important ideas from the original text. What is your answer for number five, Kuya Janiel? Mm, my answer, ma'am, is I think that is a yes, ma'am. Is it a yes? Let's wait for their answers because they're still typing. Is it a yes? Okay, William Henry Hornacion said it's a yes. Okay, and um, Julian Lapada, yes. Danette, yes. John Louis, yes. Let us check if that is really a yes. That is a yes. Okay, now let us check. Daniel, can you do this? How was your performance? Since it's the season of giving, why not react, mm, give? React, give if you got five scores. Okay, so let's see. If you got a perfect score for activity number two, please react with a gift. Okay, that's true, Janiel, no? This uh, Christmas, of course, is the season of giving. So definitely, if you're not a Catholic and you're not, um, uh, of course, uh, observing a Christmas, this is still, every day actually is a season yes, of giving. Ayan, we now have gifts here. Ayan, we are receiving a lot of gifts this afternoon because many are uh, getting a five or a perfect score. We have Angela, wow. we have Caliph, we have Via, we have Princess, Mikey, Achilles, Alea, Myrene, um, Antoinette, Yancy, Ella, and a lot more. Congratulations for all your gifts and your perfect score. And let's now do another activity. So our directions for this, you're going to complete the meaning of each paragraph by filling in the blanks with the missing words or terms. So you're going to choose your answers from the pool of options provided. Okay. Now, Kuya Janiel, can you please read our text for this afternoon? Summary is blank version of an original material. While it is closely related to blank, they are different techniques usually employed when writing using other authors' blank. When writing a summary, you should be able to identify the blank that make up the, origin, the original material. The summary should only contain these ideas retold in your own blank. Okay, now these are the choices. So you're going to make use of the following words to fill in the blanks of our reading text. So what are these choices? We have paraphrasing, central or main ideas. We also have shortened. We have ideas and we have words. So let us now guess or let us now fill in these blanks by choosing from the options that we have here. What do you think is the number or the answer for number one? Please type in your answer. Don't forget to write number one. Ayan, another person is asking for a shout out. Hello, Aliyah Faith Mercado. Happy viewing. Okay, now we have some answers. What is their answer, Kuya Janiel, for um, number think, one? Um, for number one, the answer is shortened. Okay, do you think it's correct? Mm, I think, ma'am, it's correct. Po. Okay, let us check. Very good. So you got the correct answer for number one. It is a shortened version of an original material. What about number two? What do you think is the answer for number two? And so while we are waiting and they're still typing their answers, ayan na wala na si Tutor Reese. 
I hope she gets back. Oh, hindi nakisama ang kanyang internet. Okay. So, let's just wait. Ayan, we now have an answer here from Trisha. Okay, what is your answer, Kuya Janiel, for number two? My answer, ma'am, for number two is paraphrasing. Okay. Do you have a uh, same answer with our viewers here? It looks like they are they all re they also answered paraphrasing, ma'am. Good okay. job, guys. Paraphrasing is that correct? Very good. That is correct. So that is paraphrasing. Very good. Now, what about number three? What is your answer for number three? Let's wait for their answers. And so we have Jovel Mapindan from Jamantina National High School. That's in Isabella. And we also have another request for a shout out, Edward Anthony Lumanlan. Hello and happy viewing. So now we have an answer here. So what is your answer for number three, J uh, Janiel? For number three, my answer po is central or main ideas, ma'am. Okay, let us check if that is correct. Very good, Kuya Janiel. That's correct. That is central or main ideas. What about number four? What is the answer for number four? Ah, we only have two options left. I hope you'll be able to get that. What is your answer for number four? And do we now have answers here? It looks like they are still typing for number three, ma'am. Okay, so let's wait for their answer. And yeah, we now have an answer here from Danette. Okay, uh, what is the answer for number four? Okay, and she mentioned that it's ideas. Okay, let us check if Danette is correct. Very good, Danette. That is correct. We have ideas for number four. And of course, we have our final question or final item. What do you think is the answer for number five, Kuya Janiel? Um, I think, ma'am, the answer is words po, ma'am. Okay. Is that correct? Let us check. Let us wait. Ayan, Trisha already got an answer. And also, Danette. And also, William. And Samantha and Rich Armeline and Althea. So, they answered also words. Is that correct? Very good. That is correct. So we now have five items for evaluating one's knowledge. Now, can you do the honor for this, uh, Janiel? Yes, ma'am. Thank you, Pa. So since it is uh, Christmas season and we eat a lot in Christmas, especially mm -hmm. fruits, please react um, fruit emoji if you um, got a perfect score. Okay, let us check. You know, I really love Christmas season. Every time it's vacation, diba? we eat a lot. And uh, we eat all our favorite food when it's Christmas season. Diba? Yes, ma'am. Definitely. Yes. Oh, oh. So what will be uh, what will be your handa for Christmas Eve, Janiel? What um, will be your request for your mom? <laughs> um, I would like a pasta, ma'am. I really love okay. pasta. Po. Pasta will always be part of our Christmas Eve, right? Ayan, yes, we now have a lot of fruits here. Okay, so so Diary got a, a salad, okay? Because <laughs> of a lot of fruits that he mentioned here. So, of course, we now have, um, Ayan, Janiel, uh, while we are waiting for the others, there is a special request here from Ezel. Shout out mo daw si Yancy. Mukhang tagahanga mo yata to, ha? <laughs> si o, shout out mo daw si Yancy, Janiel. Shout out kay Ate Yancy. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Tilagyan mo po. ng ate. <laughs> okay, ayan na. Ezel, ayan na. I gave in to your request. So, Yancy was already ano, mentioned. Okay, so we now have a lot of, I mean, a lot of fruits here. Congratulations to all your fruit salad people thank you very much for enjoying our lesson for this afternoon and of course for having so many many perfect scores so to summarize it is very vital to know that while summarizing and paraphrasing are two closely related concepts they are actually two different techniques in writing now what can you say about this janiel 
Um, I think it's a correct, ma'am. Yeah, I also so, did that in my summarizing when I study, po, ma'am. <laughs> okay. Now, can you read our other words here? So, a good summary focuses on a big picture and does not pay so much attention to minor details. Um, its and, main goal uh, is to present the essential ideas in a written piece book. Okay, thank you very much for that. So now let us check whether we have uh, done everything for our uh, week five objective. So of course, we have the following um, objectives. We have identified the guidelines, realize the value of respecting and summarizing a text. Uh, did we meet? or attain our objectives we have a check for here another check here and another check on our summarizing it text so congratulations janiel and reese of course for being with me this afternoon and we were able to do everything well so let us now have the assignment janiel please um for our assignment the direction is look for any article or text about the celebration of christmas in the philippines Summarize the text into the one short paragraph. Okay, so don't forget that we still have one last assignment for this year. So for the submission of assignments, please don't forget that you are going to submit that on my Facebook page and, of course, the Tutor Arnell's uh, Facebook um, profile, for Facebook account, of course, and for evaluation or feedback, you can just scan the QR code here, evaluate the session, and read carefully. Of course, you can also give comments to our mini-me tutor, Janiel. So again, this is this has been one very, very good experience. Thank you very much, tutor, mini-me tutor, Janiel, for staying with me, and I hope to be with you again Every time that we're going to have some mini me tutors, I hope you enjoyed also. I enjoyed it, ma'am. Definitely, okay. ma'am. Ayan. So, babalik ka ba uli for Itulay? Yep, ma'am. Definitely po. Yeah. Thank you. Thank back. you very much. And I also enjoyed this afternoon. And you are very, very good. So, congratulations, Janiel. And with that, the whole English Junior High School is saying bye. And, of course, thank you very much. And up next, we have Tutor Rubilene and Tutor Jovet for English 8. See you soon. See you on January. And well done, everyone. Bye, Kuya Janiel. And bye, bye. everyone. Bye. Bye, everyone. Thank you.